So you've got your song and you've got a part that's giving you some trouble. So the answer is to put the machine into loop record and then you can record several takes of that same phrase and then you can uh, pick either uh, one performance that you're already happy with or you can take bits of one performance, take bits of another performance and put them all together in a, a composite uh, piece of audio and that's the whole point of comping if you like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to uh, set up a loop and there's various ways of doing this. I'm just going to run a little bit of audio here out of my track. Christmas in Greenland, Christmas in Greece For the people of war and the people of peace Deep in the ocean or out into space You will see Christmas in every phase and Okay, so the bit I've identified is our sh play again. People of war and the people so of peace Coming up now Deep in the ocean or out into space So this is a recording that I've done earlier and I'm going to show you that I have uh, recorded several takes of this section and I'm going to show you how we can comp them. But let's just say for sake of argument I wanted to re-record this uh, and the first thing I would need to do would be to set up a left and right locator. Okay, you can drag the R, uh, the right locator to this point here just after the, the little bit of audio. And you can find the left, very laborious, it's around here somewhere, there it is. And drag it all the way down here. Uh, so this is doing it manually. And it takes, as you can see, a very long time. And But it can be done that way. All right. Uh, a much more elegant way of doing it is to um, hold down Alt and click in the timeline where you want your left locator to be, then you can just tweak it slightly manually, and then hold down the command uh, key on your Mac, and click in the timeline, and that'll be your right locator. So that's a really good way of setting up your loop. Uh, another way of doing it, let's just move these out of the way for a moment, these left and right locators, is to, um, well, first of all, let's just cut this bit of audio up. So I'm gonna press the R key on my computer, I'm going to make a cut here and one here, making sure my snap is off, obviously, because otherwise it will snap to whatever the snap setting is, and you don't want that because you want to get in really tight. Press Q on my computer keyboard, which is my normal arrow tool, my selecting tool. Click, and now I've got a clip selected. Now, if I press um, Command and L, you'll see what's happened. Uh, the left and right locators have jumped to the beginning and the end of that clip. Let's just undo that. If I were to press letter P, see and hear what happens. Deep in the ocean or out into space. Deep in the ocean or out into space. You probably notice there that reason put the left and right locators to the beginning and the end of the selected clip and put the sequencer into play. So that can be quite useful. But you've got to be a bit careful here because you need to make sure there's enough time for you to prepare to do the take. Now, if I leave the left and right locators here and I go into record and it keeps looping around, my only run-in part is going to be from here deep, deep. to there, which is not, not enough. And if I set the left locator further back, pretty obviously I'm going to plough over this little bit of audio here. I'm going to erase that, so that's not going to be any good. So the answer is to set up a new track to record and you can go through the process. You could press uh, Command and T to make a new track like that. Um, I'm going to undo that. What I tend to do, and perhaps it's a bit long-winded, but so I've got all the same setup of EQ and delays and reverbs and things, I select the track that I was uh, originally working on, hold down Alt, drag downwards till I get the red line, now, the only problem is now, of course, you've got all of the audio data on that track as well. You don't want that. So I press the G key on the computer to zoom. And then I just grab hold of all of that audio and then press delete. And then I'm going to zoom back. And of course, it zooms to where your playhead is. It zooms either side of that. So keep your playhead in that area. Now I've got a nice empty track. 
all set up with the same reverbs and delays and EQs and what have you, compression. And then I can record, I can set my left locator back there, my right locator here, and just experiment with this bit. I mean, obviously you don't want too long a run in, and obviously you need a bit of run out as well. If the computer loops from here, it doesn't give you sort of time to recover. You need a bit of breathing space between takes. So my, my advice is either side. Now you can see what would happen there if we recorded on this track. You'd, as I say, erase all this little bit, which you don't want to do, and you'd erase this part of the next clip. So that's the point of setting up a new, a new track. So you do that and record your composite vocal. So now you can relax and concentrate on your performance as reason merrily loops round and round and you're probably going to improve on each cycle. And when you think you've nailed it at least twice, stop the transport. So I've got my problem bit of audio, which is this clip here that I'm going to replace. I've made this new track to record on, so I don't erase the audio either side of my problem area. And in anticipation of this recording, I've muted all my other vocal tracks, harmonies and other lead vocals. So basically, I will hear only that track as the sequencer runs, or that only that vocal track. But I'm still going to hear this problem bit, and I don't want that, so I'm going to press the T key, which brings up the mute icon. I click the clip, and you get that kind of hatching, which means to say the clip is muted but not erased, just in case I can't get a better take and I have to go back to it. Uh, I always press my Q uh, key on my computer in between tasks. I don't know why it seems to be a, a kind of a, a habit I've got into. It's not a bad habit, I don't think. Now if you look, I've set the left and right locators either side of the clip and I've put a phrase between the left locator and the problem area and the same over here before the right locator. So I'm going to hear a phrase before I sing and then a phrase after I sing and in that way I've got time to relax in between my loops, in between my cycles. So I'm just going to put the play ahead just before the left location and just run the loop for you so you hear what we're going to hear. For the people of war and the people of peace You will see Christmas in every face and given time For the people of war and the people of peace So that's going to be a nice comfortable loop to work with. I'm going to set the playhead just before the left locator on any pre-count and I'm going to put the sequencer in record and then I'm going to sing this problem line deep in the ocean or out into space several times and we'll see what we get. For the people of war and the people of peace Deep in the ocean or out into space Again, the people of peace deep in the ocean or out into space. You will see Christmas in the space. Given time for the people of war and the people of peace deep in the ocean or out into space. You will see Christmas in every face. Given time for the people. Or out into space, you will see Christmas in every face. Do a couple more. Time for sure? the people of war and the people of peace. Deep in the ocean or out into space, you will see Christmas in every face. And given time for the people of war and the people of peace. Deep in the ocean or out into space. So we've got this clip here. I'm just going to drag the uh, clip handles over. So we've only got that bit. Now if I double click it, there we are. I've got nice six versions of the take. And you can see that they get progressively louder because I turn the uh, input gain up on my audio interface. And I think the performance improves as I go along, which is what you'd expect and that's what you're looking for after all. So if I go back out to the normal arrange view by pressing escape, 
can see I've got my clip here and when Reason plays it's going to play all the vocal tracks if I unmute them and it's going to play this new take. Let's go back before the left locator. For the people of war and the people of peace Deep in the ocean or out into space You will see crazy If I just solo that Run it Deep in the ocean or out into space Okay, I'll double click it and at the moment it's playing take five which is the last take that I did. That's possibly quite a good take but in the next video we're going to move this clip to a, a, a fresh reason song so we haven't got any clutter and I'm going to get into the serious business of compositing.